everybody, it's me Adele and welcome to my channel, Sew for Serenity, where I talk to you about my sewing journey. Welcome back if you're a regular viewer and if you're new here, I hope you enjoy this vlog and consider subscribing. So welcome to this week's Friday Sews where I talk to you about my sewing journey. For this week's Friday Sews, I'm going to talk to you about my trip to the Knitting and Stitching show. Now, it's actually Friday evening and I got back about an hour ago. It's half seven. I've just dropped Becky off from what Beck sews um, and I've just done the just under three hour drive back from London. Um, and yeah, I thought I'd share with you what I've purchased. Now, I haven't really been buying a lot of fabric over the last couple of months because I've been kind of down a rabbit hole of house renovations, etc. Um, but as you know, from last week, I'm now back into sewing and I yeah was excited to go and treat myself to some lovely fabrics. Not that I need any fabric, as you know. Now, I have got changed because I'm in my pyjamas, but I just put on my little quilted jacket, which is not me made. It's one that I actually got from um, a high street store um, in a little, um, in a little, in an animal print um, quilted fabric. And I absolutely love it. Now, I have got loads of photographs, but I'll just, and some footage, but I'll just talk to you about what happened today. So, first of all, I went and picked up the lovely Becky from Northampton um, because she's on the way to London. So, I picked her up at seven o'clock this morning. So, left the house, got up at five, left the house at six, um, got to Becky's just after seven o'clock. And we basically spoke and chatted and nattered the whole way to London. And the time just flew. Um, I was wearing my freshly sewn um, Pauline dress, the long version by Closet Core, and I made it in the Botswana. Oh, I can't remember what the name of it is. Botswana something. I'll put it on the um, notes for you. But yeah, it's by Lady McElroy, and I've had this in my stash for well over a year. Um, and I knew it'd be the perfect fabric for this dress. And I'm really, really pleased with it. Now, I'd made this Pauline dress previously before in a, in a thicker fabric, and I think I've lost a little bit of weight since I last made it, which was only not that long ago. And I think because the composition of the fabric is slightly different, I made it in a thicker cotton, and then this was a cotton lawn, which is a lot thinner. It was a little bit loose in the back where my bra strap was, so I did have to get Becky to pin the um, top to my bra just to stop it slipping down. But... Apart from that, it fits really well and I really, really liked it. I will put some photographs in because I've took the dress off now and it's in the wash. Um, but yeah, I've took some, put some photographs of it there so you can see and it's just got this gorgeous back detail. It's such a lovely fabric. I don't think they sell it anymore. I think they've sold out of it. Um, but whether you can get it from somewhere else, I don't know. But yeah, I really loved it. Becky was also in Lady McElroy. She was wearing the, is it the Horizon fabric, I think? Um, and she was wearing the bell dress by Style Arc. Yeah, is it by Style Arc? Yeah, by Style Arc. I'm so rusty at this. I can't remember what patterns and where they're from. Um, and she looked absolutely stunning. Um, and then we met the lovely Katie from Whatever Katie Sews and also Angela from Devon Thread Tales. Um, we, we, were our, um, we were our little foursome again um, after Frock Tales. Um, so I hadn't seen them for a couple of weeks, so it was nice to see them again. And then a bit later on, Cara came um, from So So Mad. Um, she joined about lunchtime and was with us for the rest of the day. Um, so yeah, it was really lovely meeting um, lots of subscribers and people that watch my channel. Um, thank you for everybody that came and said hello to me. It was really nice, especially people saying that they'd miss me and things like that. So it was really, really lovely. And we had a really lovely, I had a really lovely conversation and I can't remember what the lady's name was, but we were just talking about, um, obviously my mum's got dementia and her father, she was sharing with me that her father has got dementia and we were just, um, you know, having a chat about that. And, um, it's, you know, it's, although it's a sad subject, it's nice to talk to somebody who understands. So yeah, that was really lovely. And it was nice that she, um, you know, felt she could share that with me. So hello to you. Um, 
and we went and watched the lovely event as well from Blossom Sandwich. She was doing a talk on um, Stash Hub, which was really exciting. Um, and we were there for moral support and to try and get me to actually use Stash Hub a bit more because although I've got my stuff on there, it scares me how much I've got in my stash and I really need to start planning some projects on that Stash Hub. So that was really interesting. And it was really good to see how much it has evolved as well. I was involved in the beta um, trial when it, um, came out and although I've got to stash up and pay for it every month I'm not using it as much as I should be so it was nice to see how it had progressed um and then yeah we went over to rainbow fabrics we decided to head there straight away because we knew they had this leopard print denim that we just knew me and Becky were going to buy so we were like straight away let's go there um and while I was over there I bumped into the lovely lady that, and I can't remember her name, um, but she bought the same panel fabric that I made my frock tails dressing with the panther on. And she was wearing hers in a bomber jacket. And I actually got a photograph with her and I'll pop her up here and I'll put her Instagram on my um, YouTube channel. But she is just an absolutely cracking lady. Oh, she's so lovely. She's got a really cockney accent and oh, she's just a lovely lady, yeah. Uh, really positive and like complimentary and oh yeah she's just really lovely um it's a shame really it's a shame I didn't have my dress with me so I could have like worn it with her I should have took it really but Yusuf was there and he um was saying he loved it and yeah it was really lovely he gave me a little deal on some fabric as well which was great um yeah and all in all we just had an absolutely fantastic time um so I'll put some footage in now of photos that I took, um, video footage that I took and anything else that I can find in the archives um, from the day. found that interesting got to see um relive some of the day with us and um now i'm going to talk to you about what i purchased now i did go a little bit mad would you expect anything less from me first of all i'll start with the little bits and bobs that i got um so first of all i bought a pattern um from two stitches which is the same lady that does the eternal maker now i bought the zoe dress and this is just a printed um pdf and what she was doing was if you bought the pdf she gave it you printed and obviously it got emailed to you so that was really great and then she also does labels as well and i got these labels i got these ones which stay stitched i think we all bought some of these toast tea milk and eggs as you know i love a cup of tea And I got these two leather ones, which one is like a metallic gold that says made. And the other, because I've got an obsession with lilac at the moment, is this lilac one, which I thought was really nice as well. So, yeah, if you like those, she had loads of other ones as well. You should go over to Two Stitches um, website and she does loads of children's patterns and um, these gorgeous things. And then she also had some cards. So I got this one. You are so awesome. And measure twice, cut once little gift card which is always nice to have in your stash um to give people in the sewing community i mean i wouldn't waste it on somebody that wasn't in the sewing community because they wouldn't appreciate it um so that was my labels now i then went over to little rosy cheeks and i wasn't going to buy any labels because i have a lot of little of uh, victoria's labels um and victoria looked absolutely stunning by the way she was wearing a red um double gauze um blouse of some description i can't remember what it was actually and then some leopard print jeans and oh my god she looked it just looks so nice um and then but she's got a new range and they're all around um like leopard print so she's got these ones which we say is me made gorgeous and then these ones that 
say wild make oh, look, it's got the shiny. And you can see it's just got like the jacquard leopard print i'm sorry about the light i'm filming this at night time so and then finally this one that says big cat energy <laughs> love it and then she was also giving you giving away free um a little free gift which she always tends to do which was lovely as well and then the only other thing that i got that wasn't really um fabric was um some needles just i always get these from barnyards because they do a three deal so i needed some um 80s and 90s so i got myself a few packets of those and then the other thing that i got is i'm trying to look at doing, doing a bit of crochet i really want to try and get into it but it really daunts me um so i didn't want to spend a lot of money on it i've bought bought a beginner's crocheting magazine um from tesco's let me just grab it this was it crochet for beginners so yeah i've got this little book um but i don't actually own any crocheting stuff so i didn't want to spend too much so i got this one which was a um it's a very thin yarn um just a cotton yarn and it's got a crochet hook and it's this little critter i think it's called what is it knitty critters and it's a little lion and i thought he was quite cute and it was only 4 99 so I thought it was a bargain for just something that I might never do. <laughs> Let's face it. Um, so, yes, that was my new little hobby because I need another one. And then fabric. So, I have bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fabrics. And pretty much all of them are leopard print. <laughs> Hence why I'm wearing my leopard print jacket. Um, but first of all, I'll talk to you about the denim that I got. So this denim, I didn't buy straight away. I saw it, really liked it, came back to it later on because I couldn't get it out of my head. And there was quite a lot of fabric that I looked at, really liked the look of, but was like, I'm going to come back for it. Um, that probably happened about four or five times and I didn't go back for any of those others, but I did go back for this one. So I suppose I am getting better. Um, and this was quite expensive as well. It was 19 99 a metre. It's from Higgs and Higgs, which I do tend to find is quite expensive, but it is good quality. And I want to make the Kaya Pinafore, which has been on my list for ages. It's by Fibre Mood. I've got the pattern. It's a pinafore, which I love, loose fitting, love Fibre Mood as well. And it this is a denim fabric and it's this checkerboard with like ruffle fabric we did talk about doing a denim skirt so i did think about doing the style art denim maxi skirt but i couldn't actually get onto the style art website to see how many meters of fabric it wanted and then while i was thinking about it, i thought actually this pit this pinafore kaya might be quite nice and this is a i would say it's quite a thick um it's a denim it's fairly thick but it's like a chambray in respect of how soft it is um but yeah really really like that i've had my eye on a checkerboard um denim for a while so i'm glad i found this um and i i'm keen to get this made up but yeah i think a kaya but i might see if i've got enough for the mini skirt but i probably would wear the kaya more um but we'll see so i've got two meters of that And then next, I had seen this fabric. Um, it's a Pigeon Wishes fabric. I saw it at the Stitch Festival, but didn't buy any. Um, I think Sotanshi, is it Sotanshi? She bought some. And I had it in my basket on the Pigeon Wishes Etsy store and then never bought it. But I can't remember what the store was um, at the Stitch knitting and stitching show but they had some of it so I thought I'm going to get some I just got a meter because it's 20 pounds and I thought I could make a um a little Ava skirt by sew over it which I really would like to make and I wore recently a leather charity shop skirt that I got when I was with Becky one weekend and I really liked it I wore it with just a little black top and wore it to work and yeah it was really cool so it reminded me of the Ava skirt. So this is the fabric. So nice. It's like a jacquard. It's got zebras on it and lions, not lions, tigers. And, you know, I love an animal print. So got um, a metre of that as well. 
And then next were a few little, um, I got a couple of jerseys, not too many. I got this dog tooth jersey, which was just £10 a metre. And I got, or hound's tooth, whatever you call it. I got a metre of this. I'm going to make a naya in it or a spring in new, a, is it spring in London? You know the off the shoulder t-shirt that I like. I have two t-shirts that I like. But yeah, I really like this um, style dog tooth and I've not seen one in a small t-shirt print like that. So yeah, I treat myself to a, um, a metre of that. And then this fabric I actually spotted for Becky and after she had three and a half metres of it, because it was only six pound a metre, no, she had three metres of it, because it was only six pound a metre, I decided to get myself some as well, mainly because of the contrast. But this is the fabric and it's a um, kind of knit like a ponty weight but no it's like a knit fabric um not loads of stretch but a bit and it's like a wintry fabric and it's in this pinky color and i just got i think there was just under two meters left on the bolt of that but again leopard print me and becky did buy a lot of the same fabrics Poss but in different colour ways which you'll see when you watch her vlog but yeah this one I definitely saw for her and uh, I'm sure she'll make something really nice in it I think we were, we were talking about a dress of some description for hers but I've only got two meters so I'll probably just make um, a jumper of some description or a billy a billy jumper then the next fabric was oh actually one that I went back for it was a shop that I'd never heard of oh what was it called I cannot remember. I cannot for the life of me remember. Um, if I remember, I'll put it in the notes, but at the moment it's gone out of my head. But um, they had this made up in a jacket. Um, and when I asked them what the pattern was, they said that it was his own jacket pattern, but he wasn't selling it. It was just his own, he just obviously made it himself. Um, but they said they'd email me the pattern, which I thought was really nice. That'll be interesting to see if they actually do send it me through. But this was like a fleecy fabric, super soft, and again, in animal print. Me and Becky both got this as well. Um, it was pretty cold in the Alley Pally, to be fair. And I, at one point, wanted to put this round me because I was freezing cold. But yeah, I got two metres of this. It was £9 a metre. And yeah, it's going to make a very, very comfortable, like, hoodie or jacket, which if they send me that pattern through, I will definitely make it up it was like um had a collar like crop style jacket and was really nice i probably didn't need two meters to be honest but um yeah i could always make a onesie as well in it but yeah couldn't resist that and then the last three fabrics are also leopard print as well i mean i love leopard print i know it's really in fashion at the moment but i've always worn leopard print <laughs> right this fabric is a fabric that is a designer fabric which if you um know your designers you will recognize it i actually got it really cheaply um because it was a last bit of fabric but it's got a fault in it and um, down the middle but i'm confident i can get something out of it um so you just did me a deal but scamp and dude is the name name of the um pattern but yeah this is like a gray background with all these vibrant colors uh, i couldn't resist it because i have a few dresses in this fabric um but yeah i am um, really like that and becky got it in a pinky color way as well um so yeah she's got three meters of that as well so yeah we kind of uh morphed into the same person in respect of our fabric purchases and then the next fabric again i think me and becky both got this one it's actually a stretch denim but it's more like a feels like looks like a cord because the weave is straight as opposed to like the twill cross but um this is what we got and i think i want to make jump on the bang wagon and make some fears perhaps in this i've got two and a half meters of it or i might make um the jenny overalls by closet court i've got dead into closet court at the moment and i'm thinking maybe i might twirl twirl them and then use this maybe to make them so that was one of the 
um, rainbow fabrics denims that dropped tonight. I think it's already sold out probably. Um, but if you're heading to Ali Pali, I think he's still got some more there. And then the final denim that I got was one that I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I had been looking for this light cream denim to make a jacket for absolutely ages. So much so I ended up buying a shirt from Next about, I think, last year because I just couldn't find the fabric to make what I wanted. And this was the, or a jacket. And then this was the closest thing that, that came to it was a um, kind of, it was like the Logan shacket, I suppose. It was a shacket. Um, but when I saw this, I was like, right, I'm getting it. I'm going to make um, the Stevie jacket by Stylark. It's got, has it got some stretch? Yeah, it's got a little bit of stretch in it. But this is the fabric and it's this creamy. Well, I think it might be coming up a little bit. It's, I don't know what the colour's coming up like on there, but yeah, really lovely. Oh, it's got some grass on it, but that's come from. But that is going to be a Stevie denim jacket and I got two metres of that to make my jacket with. So that is my, oh, I'm wearing leopard print pyjamas as well. Ah. Oh, <laughs> it's definitely a leopard print day. Oh, okay. That is all of my fabric purchases. What do you think? There's a lot of leopard print going on, but I'm really happy with my purchases. I did go a bit mad, but I haven't bought any fabric for a while. Um, I haven't had a big splurge for a while. What am I saying? I went to Frocktails two weeks ago and bought some fabric. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm a lost cause. And do you know what? In two weeks' time, it's so brum as well. <sighs> I really need to get my stash under control. Anyway, I better get making. Um, so, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I am. Oh, if you want to see my earrings as well, these are a Jazz and Wow special. I literally had no earrings this morning when I left the house, completely forgot to put any in. So I messaged this lovely lady that I know that makes her own earrings and said, I need some. Have you got any of these in stock? And she did. So I bought these off Becky um, this morning and wore them to the show. And I absolutely love them. They are called Galaxy something, but I can't remember. <laughs> My memory. Um but yeah, so um, tomorrow I am very lucky because I've got my Staffordshire Sewing Social. Uh, so I get to see Becky again, which is always nice. Um, and I am going to take my toile of the Thea trousers that I've cut out in a um, calico that I've got. So I'm going to have a go at toile in them, get the fit right, and then try and cut out the camo fabric that I purchased from Glasgow the week couple of weeks ago and um, to make a wearable twirl so watch this space okay that's all from me for now i hope um you enjoyed this vlog and i'll see you all soon happy sewing bye